that you're who? Who are you, you demon? Death. Death. How did you enter her, you death? Through Huh? Through what? Through what? You spirit of death, today is the last day. Today is the last day. You're coming out in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ is more than you. Out! 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 You're back on the floor, you demon. You're back on the floor. Out! Out! Out, you generational curse of death. Out! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for her freedom. You are declared free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sister, rise up. You are free by the authority in the name of Jesus. Amen, Oksana. We are so happy to have you here today. Can you please just let everyone know where you're from? Vancouver, Canada. Amen. So you came all the way from Canada just to be here today. Wow, we thank you so much for coming so far to be with us to share your wonderful testimony. Oksana, can you tell us what was the problem that you were facing that ultimately drew you to come to the Race to Deliver conference? Oh, sorry, my English. I can't speak English so well. Um, I don't know. I just was broken. My life was broken and everybody in my family died very young and from suicide or from cancer or from something like lots of people in my family just died and I was my life was broken my marriage was broken my kids was broken everything was broken and something and I come to God three years ago and I always see something in my eyes like videos I don't know how to yeah vision it's spirit, I think it's spirit of, of witchcraft show me all the time. When I pray to God, it show me all the time in other world. And it was scary. All, not all the time. And God showed me too some visions. And one day he showed me that I have something, that something, some clothes holding me here in my back. And I always feel pain there, always. And... <laughs> when our pastor told us we have to go with my husband to California, to Sacramento, to Flame of Fire, and and in a, when we all was praying, Andrei Shapoval told me that they have witchcraft. And they prayed for me a lot, and I have delivered. <laughs> Sorry, my English. Yeah, and then after that, they told me I have to come here because they don't have a lot of time. We have to move. We live in Canada, so we have to fly back. And they told me I have to come here. There's people that are annoying, and I have to come here. And I was so, and everybody told me I'm free, but I feel that I'm not free. Something in me told me I'm not free. And since here, like, like always, I have his pressure here and pain. And actually, this. Spirit, he showed me all the time. He is very bad and black and powerful. And he told me I will not come out and you can do nothing. He showed me all the time and I was scared. So, but so you mean to say that you've had this pain in your back and you were hearing this voice of this evil spirit saying that he, it was the cause of the pain in the back, the claws holding onto your back causing that pain? Drag, 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 dracoon? Dra like a dragon. Yeah, like a dragon. And so, and when Richard, I think, I he was praying, for, like on Friday, everybody was praying, and I, I told God, please show me if I have something, please show me. And he showed me that I have, but, <laughs> but I, 
I was exhausted. My body was exhausted, really exhausted. And next day, Vlad told me I have to come next day. And on Saturday, everybody was praying. And it showed me. And I can explain myself. It was something. But And the spirit, he showed me in my eyes that he will not come out. He is there and he is powerful. And God is nothing. And he is just powerful. He just showed me like... And, but when he... <laughs> sorry... <laughs> But he, when he touched my back, I feel that he just broke it, something there. Or I don't know. Something, when he touched here, he, it, something broke. And, that, and I feel some free, like I feel light. Or I, I don't know. Освобождение как будет? Yeah, I feel something, something was good. And then I fall down and <laughs> I feel free since this. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So you mean to say that after you received that prayer and they touched your back, that that, that thing that was holding onto your back that you had felt and the, that was causing the pain, it just broke off and you, do you still, do you feel any pain in your back right now? Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.